What's everybody doing? Did they all stay home today or what? Yep. Yeah, you guys are all just staying at home, enjoying yourself on the couch. You see me sweating, my heart rate's up again. I hope you all enjoyed your evening. But um, anyway, uh, very good victory. Anytime you win an SEC game on the road, um, you know, it's a great credit to our coaches and our team. And uh, once again, we did not make it easy. I would certainly like that one time, um, you know, and I really thought our guys played very well. I thought they were dialed in all week. Um, the turnovers are definitely hurting us. Uh, they hurt our momentum. Uh, they, you know, made it uh, become a close game once again. Uh, really got to give credit to Coach White and defensive coaches and defensive players for stepping up time and time again. And the fourth down stops and, the, you know, after turnovers, uh, getting the ball back, you know, only giving up seven points to that team. We've got weapons. Uh, it's a real credit to the defense. Offensively, again, it was tough sledding, but they were, we were good. We were in a good rhythm. The, 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 uh, the turnovers, we've got to get corrected. And I give them some credit for that, too. At least I know one of the last ones are, you know, it seemed like they put their helmet right on the ball. Um, but we got to do better. And we got to get that cleaned up, and, and uh, we will. I uh, love our, the way our team fought. Um, anytime you're going on the road in this league, you, you know, we talk about it. You're going to face some adversity, and you can't flinch. You got to buck up, buck up and play the next play, and they certainly did that. So, overall, very, very uh, pleased with the victory. We will look at the film and certainly uh, get better. Um, and we're looking forward to the next opportunity. Thank you. Well, I'm sorry, Josh. I didn't mean to cut you off. Uh, um, uh, you know, I, I can't make an excuse for him. That, that, that's just not, it's not acceptable. He's played too much football for us to do that. And we rely on him too much. And at the end of the game, I wanted him back in there. And I count on him. And he, he once again iced the game by getting tough yards. When everybody in the stadium knew we were running the ball, he got a first down and iced the game. And, uh, you know, we will, the only thing I could say is we can't make an excuse. We've got to look at everything and go back to work and, and get it corrected. Yeah, I didn't realize that John that they were both after the turnovers, so that's good to know. Um, you know, uh, obviously my adrenaline gets going a little bit here uh, right after the game, but it says a lot about the defense. They were really excited to make those stops. Um, you know, they didn't they didn't put their head down when uh, they got put in that position. They didn't go out and mope and oh poor me. You know, they you know only on the bench for a few plays and get right back out there. And they, they, they buckled down and made stops. So it, it says a lot, and it doesn't surprise me. We got really good leadership there. A lot of guys that have played a lot of football, they're getting in better and better shape as the year goes on. I mean, I felt like we've been strong all year. But, you know, as I said, we got to continue to bring along some young guys and get some depth going. Uh, but they really played their, their hearts out today. I mean, just they gave up 216 total yards. So. Uh, they have some explos explosive playmakers, so that's a pretty great job. Derek King, Mark, you guys rushed for 230 yards, helps South Carolina with 58, uh, 2.8 yards per rush for South Carolina. I, I guess it's, we talked earlier in the week about the offensive defensive lines. Uh, you need to step up against this what you think about the way those guys uh, handled Extremely good. We really uh, were striving. Brad set the bar at uh, 3.7. Uh, or less uh, per rush, and uh, we certainly met that. So um, Brad was uh, really challenging the guys all week, and they really buckled down because they do have some really good backs, and, and they got some receivers that'll scare you as well. So uh, just an overall great job. Jeff Drummond. Hey, Mark, you've been uh, looking for guys to, to help you with the depth in the secondary all season. I thought you know, Jalen Geiger going home 
Yeah. I agree. It was really good for him. And you could see it's a confidence thing for him. As he gets more and more reps, he's getting better and better and more comfortable. And, uh, you know, he's really a great young man and, and getting better and better. And I, I love his ability, and he's going to be a good player. Lonnie, nobody can hear you. Oh, there you go. Yes, sir. Yeah. Yeah, I agree, Lonnie. Late in the game, um, on their, uh, I guess it was their last possession when they got that uh, field goal, the long field goal, uh, we made some really good open field tackles there. And that's critical. I talk about it all the time to the defense, um, you know, about, you know, a two minute drill, obviously keeping things in front of you is critically important, but tackling, you got to get them down and not let them get out of bounds and keep that clock running. So that's a big deal for us. And I thought we did a good job uh, with that. And Josh. You almost feel like you're the hogs a little bit with where the turnovers have been. I mean, yeah. Got to, it's definitely got to be a point of emphasis for us, yes. I mean, I'm not happy about it, that's for sure. We've got to get it corrected. Again, there's, there's really no excuses. We've got to do a better job, and uh, we've got to get back at it. You know, again, if you I mean, it is what it is. It's, again, I'm not going to make any excuses. It's not acceptable. We're going to get better. Again, if you just look at some things, our, our turning the ball over, there's no excuse for. But the ball bouncing sometimes to the other person, there's no controlling that. Again, I've been on, you know, when I first got here, you weren't here, DeAndre. DeAndre is in here right now. But the, the, when we first got here, we couldn't play a lick of defense, but we led the country in fumbles. It's not because we were smashing people. I could promise you that it bounced our way. And so um, I think we have to create more turnovers. We, we are emphasizing that. But for us on offense, some of those fumbles, again, there's no, we cannot do it. Not and win big games. We can't keep on playing with that fire, no. John Hale. Well, I'm not sure people realize how steady Ruffalo has been for you guys for the last year and a half. Who's that? How Ruffalo, the kicker. Yeah. You're right, John. It was they, every kick was critically important, and he did a, a fantastic job. And uh, you know, we all wanted that first down and a touchdown um, when we put it up nine. But I had to go for those points and make it a two-score game. And uh, you know, he hit that one through. And you know, offensively, we had some really good drives in you know tough circumstances that you know ended up in field goals. And um, so. Uh, that was a really good drive, though, and getting the three was big. Lonnie, yeah, I'm back again. Uh, oh. uh, what, is any emphasis put on uh, Rodriguez's man to put two hands on the ball when he gets the trap? It looks like maybe he's doing more than you know, on his last drive. Well, he, yeah, he did put two on it at the end. And we all, at the end, um, you know, obviously the, 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 the ball was the game there uh, for us. But uh, yeah, there's, a, there's some technique things that he's got to do. He's got to get his hand up over the ball, the point of the ball, and hold it high and tight. There, you can't put two hands on it all the time, no. But there are times when he can. Yeah, in traffic he can, Lonnie. And he's running inside uh, some inside runs and in, in, uh, you know, in traffic there he could. Um, thanks, John. I, you know, Tony just told me that, that to be prepared, and uh, I just I'm thankful. That's all. Just uh, 
just right in the moment right now, just as I told our team, really excited for the next opportunity. And so, but I am grateful. You know, it's been a, it's always a, a tough grind in this league. And I thank, uh, you know, all the support I've had, the administration and Dr. Capilouto, Mitch. It's been a team effort. And, um, you know, we have really good people around here and we plan on keeping on going. I'm going to keep on pushing him. He's right over there. I got to keep on pushing him, you know. So between me and Kyle, we're going to give him a heart attack. But we got to keep on growing, you know, and getting better. Yeah, you're young, 62. All right, two more, Derek Terry and then Larry Bob. Yeah, I'm going to turn it over to DeAndre's right here. Talk to him. Go ahead, shoot. Yeah, Marcus, I asked about DeAndre. He had eight tackles up high, came up big from a third and fourth down there. He's a tough steady as you've been for you guys this season. Been steady for years. You know, DeAndre's been steady. He's a leader and right in the middle there. And uh, I really just can't say enough about those guys just gutting it out. and you know, having great heart and making big stops when we have to. So really thankful. There you go, Larry. Uh, You went back on mute, Larry. There you go. All right, yeah, we got nothing. All right, coach, thanks for your time. Okay, thank thank you.